All right, so this is Pixel Mash 2024.2, and in this release, we've added a bunch of new features. Um, the first one is a time-lapse screen recorder. So if you go into uh, the file menu here, it's got start, stop, time-lapse recording, which you hit to start and stop the process, and then you've got the settings to set it up. Um, and you understand how this works. This takes a screenshot of your work every so often and then compiles it into a video that you can show people to show your, your process as you develop something. Um, the speed is the main control here. 1x is real time, so it's basically right recording a real time video of what you're working on. And 60x is uh, sped way, way up, so it only takes a screenshot every so often. Um, and then the video that you get at the end, the, the process will be, will be sped way up. Um, and then you can choose anywhere in between those. So the recording bounds, you can either record uh, just the Pixmash window or you can record the entire screen, which will also capture other programs. So if you're working in multiple programs and want to show that workflow, you can do that. Um, and then it's got standard uh, video output. And uh, I, won't do, I won't do it now, but you can start stop the recording and you'll choose where to save your file and then you hit it again and it will stop the recording and save it in that location. So that's uh, time lapse recording. Uh, we've also got a bunch of other smaller features here. I'm using this uh, animation by Luis Mello, I believe is how you pronounce his name. His work is up on itch.io and it's this animation of this cool little mushroom guy. One of the things we've added is in this preview window, you can now zoom in and out uh, just by scrolling up and down and you can drag, also drag it around, which is very handy if you want to get it, uh, if you're previewing a small animation like this one and you want to get zoomed way in on it, you can totally do that. Uh, we've also added the ability, this was user request to change the grid line spacing. So it's by default, it's one grid line per pixel, but you can also go into the view menu and set the spacing to something else. So say five pixels per grid line. Um, and then if I turn on this ground shadow here, which is pretty fun with the animation, I love the ground shadow effect. Um, you can now, on these numerical fields, you can now use the arrow keys to go up and down. So you'll see I'm adjusting the soft radius of the shadow and I'm just hitting the arrow keys up and down, which is sometimes much easier than uh, typing in numbers. And the last thing is that we've added a open recent menu. So we now have recent files and you can easily access them and clear out the history if you want. So that's a bunch of fun quality of life improvements and uh, also some bug fixes for uh, Pixel Mash 2024.2. Uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, you can download it at neversender.com slash pixelmash with a free trial. And uh, thanks for watching.